Today's video is on layered jelly plate printing with weeds and stencils. We're going to be using these weeds, which is apparently uh, a type of nut sedge as far as I've been able to determine. And these stencils to create beautiful collage papers or jelly prints to use in your artwork as journal pages, as greeting cards, or in whatever way your heart desires. So if you like what you see here, please remember to subscribe and leave me a comment about what you might like to see next in a video. And if your comment was going to be, how can I use my collage papers in my artwork? Stay tuned because I have a video coming up very soon, which will show how to use these weed prints that I made from these weeds in a piece called Plot Twist, and it's super fun. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I'm stepping outside for a rare field trip so I can show you this place in my yard that I got these weeds. Clearly, I should be watching a few more gardening videos, <laughs> but that's not my gift, right? So um, I'm gonna cut some of these weeds. I will look for the, the name of them for you. I'm gonna take three differing sizes and uh, there's more on the way, more growing there right now. So um, we will take these inside and trim them down and see how well they work on the jelly plate. Okay. Okay, so I'm back in the studio. I've got the three that we just cut. I'm gonna trim just the pointy edges off so you've got more of this shape here. And then I'm going to shorten the handle <laughs> and use this part as a printing tool as well. And so we'll do that for all three pieces. I thought I had cut a smaller one intentionally, but these all look about the same size. Yeah, let's make this one a little bit smaller. So we'll just trim it closer to the center. It's just so fun once you start with the jelly plate because you kind of look at everything and anything and wonder, hey, what would that look like if I pressed it onto the jelly plate? All right, so let's do a nice base print here. A dark green. This is sap green. Some carbon black. Some turquoise thalo. I'll rear that out. Make a nice base print here. This is on copy paper. That's what we're doing today. Okay, it's got some white spots in it, but I wouldn't get too concerned about that. So now let's do a fun contrasting red. I'm not doing Christmas right now, but just thinking complementary contrasting colors. A little titanium white and a little bit of permanent violet dark. We'll bring that out. I don't know about that, guys. I want to soften that just a bit with some teal. And then um, using these to press down, um, realizing that you're not gonna be able to press the center down so it needs to be off the plate a little bit. That is a springy one. <laughs> gonna set the, the bottle of paint on there to get it to stay. And the, the um, spray bottle. And then we'll just use our other bits for um, accent. Forgot about my little one here. Oh, I gotta leave it off the page. Okay, and then we'll press this down. A 
this up here. Pull this up. Pull this up. And you can see the pattern underneath. All right. And then we'll top it off with stencil that is round for ultimate contrast. The stencil that I'm using came from Dick Blick and it was in a frame and I went ahead and cut it out. <laughs> so I have this, which is so much more versatile and gives you much more personal prints that you can um, customize for yourself. So always feel free to do that, cut out the shapes you love most and use your stencils that way. All right, I already know what colors to use for this final top coat here. Dial Ride Yellow, a little bit of Naphthol Red Light, Titanium White. I'm going for kind of a peachy color. Your Tyvek Circles would work well here too, and I could try that, but we'll just put these down and see how they look. I'm really loving these. Add this to, I guess that's enough, right? We'll use it on this side because this there's a little skippage up here, so. Wow, I mean, this combination is just, I'm in love with that. The um, circles, the lines running through and great patterning. Okay, so this is the ghost print. I did trim it down because I wanted to take a picture of it. Let's go ahead and put a weed print over the top of this and see what happens. So we've got orange, we've got blue. I'm thinking just sort of a super deep green, sap green hue, Van Dyke brown, and some phthalo turquoise is what I'm going with. Gosh, I've got stuff everywhere. I think the brown was not a good choice. I think it should have been black. Shifted a little bit by doing phthalo blue. I think that brown is not gonna give me what I want on top of what I've got here. And we'll add a little bit of black. All right, so let's put this one here. This is the really springy one. Put this one up here. <laughs> We'll put this one down here and then we'll add a couple more diagonals and see what we get. All right, I can set you free. Okay, well, we lost all our circles, so now if we wanna see anything, we have to go back over it with the circles. Um, learning curve, and um, we can do that right now and see what happens. A lot of times, a lot of times when I do one that I, that I don't like, I shut the camera off and then I play and then I get one that I like and you guys never see it. So let's just uh, keep the camera rolling here. All right, but let's see what happens if we go with now the circles over this. Some teal, titanium white, of course. Um, I'm thinking a little bit of phthalo blue. Oh, let's use some quinacridone nicolazo gold too. Okay, and then we'll do these guys again. Where's the other one? Here it is. <laughs> <laughs> I lose stuff so easily. Let me see if I can place this better. That's pretty by itself, huh? All right, I think everybody got their fingers crossed. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> uh, I 
here's another one and another one. Uh, thanks so much for watching. It's Vicki Reed with Paint by Heart. I will see you next time.